The first day of the camp was actually spent in three different activities. We broke the kids up into groups of 10 and sent one out on the research boat that GRDA has and they got to use the plankton net and collect some water samples to see kind of what was living in the lake water column and learned how to take the temperature and dissolved oxygen and uh, looked at clarity. They all took a secchi disc out and measured water clarity, which then we'll enter in. It's a secchi dip in month this month, so we're going to enter that into a national database. So uh, GRDA will have some uh, recorded information from citizen scientists, and it gives the kids an opportunity to really be involved in kind of the science behind it. And then we uh, let them go on a dam tour, which they just loved, and they showed them all the huge catfish at the bottom of the dam, so now everybody wants to go fishing over there. But they thought that was a really cool experience. And then we talked to them about non-point source pollution, because what Blue Thumb does um, is educate citizens about what non-point source pollution is, how it affects our water resources, and how we can help protect it. And then we took them up and walked along the GRDA, uh, the Grand Lake and Lake Hudson map, and talked to them a little bit about uh, the streams that feed the lake, um, where the dams were, and some trivia about the communities along the dam because most of the kids were from an area right around here. They seem to say they're having a good time. They all came back today, which was a great thing. But today was Creek Day. And so again, we brought them down, divided them into two groups. One group sained, and they caught a few little red shiners and maybe a largemouth bass. And then uh, one group learned how to use a kick net where we actually kick from macroinvertebrates, the benthic macroinvertebrates, the ones that live in a stream. And we found some um, mayflies and leeches and uh, sow bugs and uh, some caddisflies, some midgeflies. So we found a nice variety, lots of crawdads. And then each child got a net and they were sort of sent out on their own to see what they could find. And some of them caught some little stone rollers, some of them caught uh, which is a fish. Some of them uh, caught more bugs. It was a good experience. And then we sent them to learn about habitat because you can have a beautiful stream, kind of like we have behind us, but if we remove all the vegetation, all the habitat, what are we going to have? And so we talked to them about the importance of trees, shade, the rocks, that kind of thing. I had one kid tell me today that this was their favorite day. This was uh, our first year at this. We had a total of 30 kids enrolled this year. And uh, so next year what we want to do is hold two different camps on, on different days so we can get more kids in because it was really interesting. We were almost full after the first weekend of announcing it. And um, I still have people calling um, this week asking, is it full, is it full? So this is something that um, I think the community appreciates, the kids that live in the area. And it's really good for those users that live out of town and come up here and they recreate here. They're bringing their kids and letting their kids learn a little bit more about the lake. And hopefully by doing all this, they'll have a better appreciation of how to protect it.